<laughs> I'm the Hawk Ariel. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And have I got something for you today? Yes. Well, we're continuing my series that I've been doing um, of manufacturers, the, the models of uh, different manufacturers. Uh, we did uh, Hot Wheels first. Go check that uh, video out. Uh, and, uh, and now we're doing Matchbox. The first Matchbox one we did was from 1955 to 1997. Uh, that was the Lesney Matchbox era. This one, part two, is from 1997 to current day. Still Matchbox, but this is under the Mattel um, regime. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, so we're just kind of going through. This is uh, a, a kind of a neat little series that I dreamt up. I... I uh, hit my head on the toilet, drew the flux capacitor, threw that away and said, hey, let's do a recap of all the models of a uh, particular toy manufacturer. So we're doing Matchbox. All right, so that's the premise. Now I have done each individual um, videos on each one of these models. This is just a quick re recap. All right, oh, well, as I bump into the, let's get into it. So we kind of left off in 1997. Well, kinda. Um, from 2000 um, or 1987 to 2004, um, they kind of did this Range Rover uh, or Defender, excuse me, Range Rover. Uh, and uh, so this is the latest one, um, 2004 to 2012. They they did like a second version, uh, which was still the plastic top, but it kind of came with different wheels. Um, and boy, so anyway, moving right along, this is the newest, latest one, 2016. This one came out, the all-metal, plastic base, redesigned uh, De Land Rover 90. Spell it out, 90. Oh, well, actually, they quit spelling it out. It's just Land Rover 90 now. So that is kind of where we're picking up, all right? Uh, the next uh, year was 1999. And till 2016, which this one was a 2016 release. This is the latest one. No change in this. And I'm surprised this came out. This came out in that Land Rover series by Matchbox uh, for uh, over 17 years almost. Uh, this model has not changed one iota. <laughs> so 1999, this came out and is till... I, I guess current day 2016 so that's the Freelander the next model that we're going to look at 2001 the uh, Discovery came out another model that has not changed one iota is uh, this one here it came out in 2001 to 2016 which was in that um, Land Rover series uh, set but uh you know, I don't ever believe that this one ever came with a metal body. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I know I, the, the Freelander did. The Freelander in the early days had a metal base, metal body. Uh, but I do not think that they ever did a metal base, metal body discovery. Uh, that's just just too bad. That's I like that vehicle. That's a nice truck. That's a nice looking truck. All right, so then we jump to 2004, and uh, that's when they came out with the Land Rover SVX. Yes, and um, tan black. This came from a 10-pack. This came from exclusive 5-pack. Uh, so this is um, all the way till 2016, once again, when it came out with the Land Rover series uh, by Matchbox. So there we go. That's the SVX. All right. Now, uh, 2006, they came out with this bugger here. The Range Rover Sport 2006 is when they came out with this one. Uh, open windows on the front. Uh, another one that I never, I, I don't think they did metal base, metal bottom with the, with the uh, SVX or the Range Rover Sport. So 2006 to 2016, uh, this came out. 
the last time we saw it was this one here with uh, real riders on it, I believe. This is the last one uh, that came out. And then they uh, uh, parked it. <laughs> yeah, they parked it. But uh, very, very nice. All right, 2006 then is when they came out with the first Land Rover Defender 110. This one here that we know and love, the full metal jacket. Uh, once again, never had a metal base, metal body. Uh, let's get that in focus so you can read it. So um, this is uh, 2006 is when this started. Now these, these are a little bit older, uh, but uh, yeah. So there you go. Um, this is one of the last ones with the, uh, uh, they jumped around and they did a full metal jacket one on this one the, for the uh, Globe, Globe Travelers uh, 65th year with rubber wheels. All right, so then the next time that they uh, did this was 2012 and it was the uh, chopped up, uh, started chopping away at the roof and made it part plastic. Still the same graphics, uh, just, uh, and it, you know, there's other detailed differences. You can watch the video of this and see what they did. But uh, yeah, so uh, this came from a, a bizarre jungle excursion <laughs> expedition play set. Really kind of cool. This is a rubber wheel one, uh, or no, no, this was a, um, Oh man, it came in a fancy box. I don't know. It was a premiere or something or other and uh, didn't have rubber wheels, did it? Yes, it did. I took the wheels off this one. It come with rubber wheels on it uh, that looked like this one, but they were a little bit different colors. Yeah, I grabbed one that I had customized there, <laughs> put the old classic wheels on there. But uh, so the second version uh, lasted all the way till 2017. Um, then uh, 2016, we came out with this one here, and this is the third edition, third generation of this, where they did the light bar as well as part of the roof. And uh, if I could, <laughs> this is this was done in 2016 and 2021. This same exact car. It came out in the series, the Land Rover series. Uh, by Matchbox in this color, and now it just came out in a, what do they call it, Global Series, they're calling it. Same paint job and everything, you can check the video of that in my playlist as well. Alright, so then we're going to jump to 2013. Oh yes, this is exciting. 2013, they did this, and I remember when they came back out with uh, this, uh, because there had been a span of time where there was no Matchbox uh, Land Rovers. And 2013 is a big momentous moment where they started uh, producing them again. And uh, this was uh, this is the 15 Range Rover Evoke. Uh, this is the one of the later ones. Um, last color of this is a red. Very... Oh! Let's just drop that. Good thing I put carpet over here. So we <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the hard to find copper one that was not included in the five pack of these cars, the Land Rover series by Matchbox. This came only on the single card, uh, this copper color, and that was 2016. Um, now they they are still doing this. Um, no, the red one that I dropped just came out in 2020, just this last year or whatever. All right, so let's keep moving on. Oh yeah, here's another one of those, uh, yeah, I missed that one. All right, well anyway, let's go on to 2019 to present day. That's the, uh, this one here, which is the Safari Gen 2, the Land Rover Gen 2 Safari, 1965. And this is the, the remarkable one with the removable top to it. This is awesome, this is awesome. So really cool, really great. So uh, blue, then green, then this tan, or tan and then green. So yeah, that was awesome. So they're still producing this one. Really quick before we run out of time, 2018 to present 
is the Evoke. Vogue. No, the Range Rover Land Rover Vogue SE. Yeah, so this is another one. They just put this one out not too long ago. So another one. So that's it for 164 scale, folks. Now don't tell me I missed some matchboxes because there are some bigger ones which are in a different video. This is, this is Matchbox has been so busy that I couldn't put it all in one video and bore you to death. So that was the 126 scale. So we're going to do the uh, larger scale, uh, I think it was 164th, in the next video. We'll probably stop with uh, Matchbox for a minute and do something else. But right now, uh, there you go, a quick look at Matchbox and the models that they have produced and what they are producing. All right, this is your friend Dano, 11 minutes into it. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great Rover Day!